And these are rice hulls. And these are the plants that you see. Our baby's already coming out. Yeah. So blue tomatoes, bell pepper. Looking towards over 300 kitchen. There's more in agriculture. Yeah. We'll be having buyers back to back. Not everybody has to be a doctor. Not everybody has to be an engineer. There are fields ready to be tapped so you can do this. My name is Aldo Sonny. My name is Ebukonla. I'm from the States. Delta States worry precisely. Practice agriculture, you will be poor. So agriculture is that thing our grandfather did. And as a student, you should ask yourself, how rich was your grandpa? Sansonobuli has trained over 10,000 youths on soilless mat farming for free. And the best part, the trainees get free $50 monthly allowance while they are learning. And at the end of their training, they get a greenhouse soilless farm for free. If a young person out there, you want to know how to take advantage of what he's doing, you want to be part of that program, this video will show you how because we're talking about it in this video. But before we get into the video, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and share this video so more people can get to see it and we need to hit 100,000 subscribers and above. And I know you can do that by helping us to subscribe if you haven't. And let's get into the video now. One of the things we do is we provide free training for young people aged between um, 18 and 29. We do a thousand young people every quarter. Uh, while we are training them, we want to ensure that they are able to, what's the word now, they are able to actually kick off the agricultural journey on the right footing. So uh, what we do is we first and foremost put them into what we call clusters or groups and every group gets a company registered for them. So these are the graduates from the first batch, January to March. This is the second batch of um, April to June. The certificates of the next batch is not out yet, though they've graduated, those ones just graduated last week. So uh, that's what this basically represents, those who we have trained. And after training them, so in their training, they spent three months on the farm, why they are here, because, I mean, I've been a youth and I understand what it means graduating from school, trying not to be dependent on parents and trying to start your life. So when they are here, they get a monthly stipend for free of $50, depending on the exchange rate, that determines what they get eventually. Then um, they get free accommodation on the farm while they are also trained for free. So the essence of the stipend is this helps them to at least keep body and soul together. Now, while they are being trained, they learn how to set up a greenhouse, how to set up an hydroponic system, then they actually set it up. On graduation, those things that they have set up, we now allow them to take over and start managing. That way, as Soilless Farm Lab, we are able to connect those products to the market. So by selling those produce, their companies are able to make money vis-a-vis. -vis. These young people also are able to make money for themselves. That way we believe we are able to start them on the right footing now. They are running a business, they have, they have access to a market, and of course we help them with our legal team, our accounting team, for another nine months of um, mentorship until they are able to stand alone fully and then they can expand out of the premises. As of right now, those who are on this and these, these two set of graduates, recently got access to funding from one of the financial institutes as, as a loan, as single digits, where all of them now are able to get an acre of land each to expand their service, their uh, business operations, but we still act as a guide. So that's what this represents. And this represents a uh, export license that we got sometimes in April this year. Then this is our hardship that's um, hazard analysis and critical control points to ensure that what we are producing on the farm are handled to the best international standard. These are some other awards. Then at the top, these are mentors I look up to from Dr. Akim Umi Adeshino to Dave Delusha, to African farmer Morgan G, to Tony Cole, Mirameta, and uh, ex-president Chief Olusha Gwabasanjo. Then on this part, here we have mentors I look at in agriculture. So not everybody basically here are purely are Greek, but here we have mentors I look up to, um, up to in agriculture from Victoria Madido to Ambassador Shola Ade, um, Adeniyi, Mrs. Yemisi of Sultry, Mr. Bola of Orian Corelli, Mrs. Indidu Onele of Sahel Consulting, Mrs. Akwabi of Agrotech, Rotimi Williams of Kerushuk, my Mrs. Umoro of Farm Shops, Steve Okiliji, Mr. Steve of Aquatic Op, Mrs. Ada of 
Agrole, you have Miss Williams of Real Fruit, our daddy Kola Adenije of Niji Group, Pastor De Bonofora of BIC, Mr. Ayodeje of Apex, there's supposed to be no farms, and um, Ola Wale Rotimi of JRO Farm. So that's what this part represents, and this is just our journey as a company. This just represents our journey as a company. You know, I said earlier that we were registered um, 2019, so, but we did not start operation until January 2020. This was a training we had in uh, Benin for about 500 people sponsored by May DAI and Edo State Government. Then me running my nursery, restarting myself, having a training with, um, sponsored by Stambic uh, Bank. Some, they, we are training, I think, some young people. I was one of the speakers. Then setting and training some people from Kenya, or rather in Kenya, setting up a farm in Abuja, and um, just after the Abuja farm set up, COVID hit. So I had to come back home and start doing my whole setup at home by myself. And um, for the tra I, know I talked earlier about training young people for free. So I started this whole process September 1, 2020. So we call it Work and Learn 1.0. Some students will be resuming on Tuesday next week. That will be Work and Learn 33.0, meaning we've done about 32 editions training young people for free. Then sometimes last year, we were in Dubai to set up a farm for some people. So this is the farm. And then where we are right now, we bought this land around November, December last year. And this is February this year. And this is where we hope to be by 2025, December. For the training, what we simply do is you go to the website. Anybody can do that, sfarmlab.com slash area or just sfarmlab.com or just type soil farm lab you will get to the website check the training options or the learning options you see the one that has work learn and earn so yeah you just apply so once you apply automatically the system has been um, configured in a way that using the algorithm if you don't meet the basic criteria it will screen you out so top on the list is number one you must be aged 18 to 29 so at some point it will tell you to actually upload the proof that you're actually within the age range uh, you don't have a criminal record you are willing to stay on the farm um yeah the other ones are just basic but that 18 to 29 and not having a criminal record is the topmost then um after that so that we have a team that does that the social mobilization office and uh, the monetary and evaluation office they work together those are offices we have here to try and select the 1,000 people. In addition, we have a bias where we take 70% female and 30% male into um, the program. And once they come in, all the 1,000 guests pay $50 each. So it's not some get and some do not get. It's every, every, month. every month. So you get that every month for three months. Again, we don't pay it in dollars. We pay the Naira equivalent based on the prevailing CBN rate, not the black market or parallel market rate, the CBN rate. We do the exchange and they get paid. And yes, there is no hidden payment. They don't pay for anything. I mean, when we are done, you can walk around. You see the old people that have graduated. So right now, you notice I'm wearing a black layered. So as you walk around the farm, you will see those who are putting on the yellow layered. So the yellow means they have graduated. However, they are back managing their farms and they still live inside this farm. Those you see with the blue layered, they have graduated. They are back managing their, managing their farm, but they rented accommodation outside the premises. So they go out every evening, come back every morning. So you can ask them. There is no charge on them. It's totally free. Okay. So the second phase, let's say someone has graduated. Yes. Now he sets up to set up the farm. You're helping them to set up the farm. In their, so when they graduate, they are in the process of their training. They set up a farm. Okay. So they are practical because you can't do farming without practical. So when they are doing their practical, their practical is not all saying this is a greenhouse. Their practical is this is how to set up a greenhouse. Uh, get auger, dig, get cement, use the mixer, mix get the iron rod, cut, fix. So they are actually doing all of these things as a group. Remember I said earlier, that group will now become a company, which means as a company, they are setting up 
where they will grow their own crop. So by the time they are done, we have our professionals like the plumbers, the electricians, the facilitators, the facility managers, all of that to guide them. But the whole idea is at the end of the day, they have been able to set up and now they are managing that farm. Much more than that, they can also get contract. Right now we have about four of the companies uh, in, the, in another company called Greenport where they are joining them to set up some greenhouses. Now they can decide to use this um, greenhouse set up as a business or as a service, but they also have a farm that they are running. That way they are assured of income at least from the fourth or fifth month. I'm saying or fifth because it depends on how far they were able to go in their set up planting and all within their three months of training that determines when they harvest from the fourth month. So the training period is three months. Yes. Three months you are living here for free. Yes. You're getting at stipends being paid to you. Now when you graduate you can set up here or you can move No, we've already set up for you here. here. So when you set up here Yes. The land belongs to you. Yes. So are they paying you any rentage? No. Are they going to pay through whatever they're going to pay? It's through the produce. Because when we take the produce, we buy from them. Then these people that buy now resell. Okay. So you buy from them. Yes. Okay. You I'm sure you noticed some people that were passing with crates. Yes. So they are coming to harvest to drop. We will get there for you to see how the process goes. Okay. So what is it? Again, allow me to ask a bias question. It's important to ask no. this. Yes, please feel free. I don't know how people think. So what is it in, in what is it for you or in, in it for you why you decide to do all of this free? Is it because at the end of the day you're trying to multiply your farm and you're trying to get more farmers or what? What is it exactly are you getting out of this? Good. So number one that we are getting out of this is we have more young farmers that understand how agriculture should be done. That is number one. Number two, we have more producers who are producing right. So we are not trying to have a thousand, uh, a person have 100 acres. Instead, we are trying to say, I can have a farm as small as this. If you notice, we are growing on multiple layers. Because of that, I can do much more in a small space than looking for a big space to do a little thing. So we are able to do agriculture right. Again, not everybody that we train stay back. Some will say, okay, now I understand this. We have some guys in Anambra, in Imo, in Kaduna, going back to replicate because the most important thing first for them is they now understand how to run this thing. Does that make sense? Number three, because we have a market we can sell to, we are able to get what you call a larger market share or niche because now the market is bigger because we have more people who can now produce in here. And of course, because we are having a big cluster of different farmers in one place, it gives us the power to negotiate favorable terms with the market, favorable terms with the input supplier. So it is one thing for one person to say, I want to buy fertilizer. It's another thing for the year now, we've trained 3,000 before, 3,000 farmers to say we want to buy fertilizers. 3,000 farmers have the power to negotiate what is favorable. 3,000 farmers, and I gave you an example earlier where the uh, trainees from the cohort one and two, that is the January and April batch have access to loan. Why is that easier now for them to get? Because in, bank, in, in the bank, they have what you call cross-guaranteeing. Where I guarantee you, you guarantee that. And much more than that, there is a market that they already know that is giving a guarantee to say, we are of taking all of these things. So that gives assurance to the bank. And because of the assurance to the bank, the insurance company too are happy to step in and say, okay, this is fine. The market that we finally of take is also happy to know that there is capacity for more and consistency in this place. And because we are buying these inputs ahead and we are buying as a group, not as an individual, the people we are buying from, they are able to sell to us cheaper and in bulk for us to store in a store. And what that simply means is because of this, this is how we have been able to ensure that the price of our produce in the market has been constant. Why? Every input that is needed for the farm to be run is already in the store for the year. So the only thing that changes is the running cost vis-a-vis -vis diesel. Because I said earlier that the farm is run on generator. So that is the only varying cost, but even at that, we have still kept our price the same since last year. Okay, beautiful. So
So basically, I'm building a community here. Exactly. When we go, when uh, Miss Grace will take you around, you will get to see we have a market, we have a church, we have a mosque, and all of that within the community. Hey, my name is Faith Dokas Ewa. I was part of the first court from um, January. And my experience here so far has been not so easy, actually, because we've been here since January, obviously. The training was nice. I got to learn a lot about hydroponics farming, and we're empowered. Our, my farm is just here, Road 14 Limited. And it has not really been easy, because we've had lots of issues, but at the same time, it has been worth the journey so far. Thank well, you. The main challenge is, uh, one of the main challenges we had was the wind. Like as you can see, we constructed four main greenhouses before, but the wind affected everything, so we had to turn them into net houses. So we have wind, we have some fungi issues, we have um, not enough manpower, but besides that, um, Soilless Farm Lab has actually helped us mitigate lots of these factors, so it is not so as serious as it ought to be. Yeah. Why did you decide to start up your farm here and not go outside after your training? Mm, firstly, to start up a greenhouse farm is not very cheap. So now we had a cover. It was easy to start like that instead of having to postpone, go out and like start saving money before starting that. So besides this, we are still planning to expand beyond Soilless Farm, but this is just for the starters part. How many people formed your company or how many people are you in your company? Okay, for how many of us <coughs> formed the company? We are 50. Because 50 of us own the company, they registered the company. But the number of people staying here now, currently, we are seven staff working on the farm. So the remaining, where are they? They went to pursue their dreams in different, <laughs> different okay, so fields. So that means they're not part of the company anymore? No, they are shareholders. But they are not really required to be here, to be staff, to work on the farm. Okay. So would you encourage another young lady out there who probably sort of going to prostitute? frustration or doing something wrong to complete definitely i mean it is not easy like it is not easy but besides that you get to learn something new like it is it is en i studied marketing in school and from marketing i went into web development and here i'm planting stuff so it is really the learning process watching the plants grow from nothing having them fall sick and applying treatments and seeing them come back to life again is just it's, it's a lot so i would really you can come here and learn something if you want to what are you growing in your farm we have bell pepper and lettuce so we are working on them um, on the bell pepper sure bless you okay. so this is our bell pepper house okay so how many do you have in here mm, this is 74, 74, 74, 74, 74. So it's over 300 and something plants. Yes. The formation of our substrates, like it is not, um, there is no stand here. These are rice hulls. We had the um, boucher and we have um, cocoa pits together with it. And these are the plants, like you see, our babies are already coming out. And it's really nice because we just planted this. This is a new cycle. We just planted this here. We have to do the staking because at some point, the weight of the um, pepper tells on the stem of this. So it doesn't stand. Like you can see. Okay, come and see this. So you get what I'm trying to say. We didn't get to stake on time. So the form was abnormal. It was already forming into an abnormal shape. So this helps you to help it stand straight like this as it ought to be. So that's why have to stick. Exactly. So that's how we have to stick so it. Like stick it. Time, anyway. It's everything's going to be deformed. They'll keep falling and when they start fruiting, everything keeps falling, doesn't stand properly. So how many are you looking to have this from this one? Over three hundred kg. Three hundred kg. Over three hundred kg. Yeah. In, the, in its life, life span the period? cycle, the new cycle, that's going to last about three months because their lifespan is six months. six months. Yeah, so within okay. three months, we're looking towards over 300 kg. Okay, and yeah. that should give you an estimate of like how much? Mm, as at now, one kg is worth 1,005 depending on the width. So that should give us, I don't, I, I can't start doing the mathematics now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, basically, you can have some little gain. Yes, okay. we will. Okay. 
and you have not done this up to one year now? No, we started in January. January. And we actually started planting in April. Yeah. So it's still six months. What's your farm name? G15 farm. G15 farm. What's your experience basically? Is this something you encourage people because we want a lot of young people to participate as well? Um, basically, I would say my experience has been awesome. Okay. You know, the learning phase and also the practical phase, it means that um, I've learned a lot to start up on my own and also in my own money mm -hmm. from all that I've been going through. Okay, good. Please go. go. Okay. So would you encourage a young person out there who probably hearing about this program to join? Yeah, definitely. I believe that's one of the reasons for this program entirely. Because uh, a lot of people see agriculture as something that you just do traditionally. But then when you begin to see the part of innovation and the part of the technology in it, then the youth should actually embrace it. Okay. What what is your produce basically? These tomatoes. Okay, it's tomatoes that you do basically. Yeah, we do tomatoes, bell pepper, pepper, pepper. Um, kale, and uh, uh, celery. 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 Yeah. Well, so why did you decide to continue your farm here? Why didn't you go outside? Is there okay. any particular reason? Yes, because um, for startup, we might not have all the money in the world to start. Okay. But the program gave us a room as a starting company to peak. Okay. So whatever we are earning from here makes it easier for us to start ours. Okay. So that's why we decided to stay back. We'll back. Since there are there is a facility is already available for yeah. kickoff. Kick off. So okay. with zero with zero money, okay. you're also any money. All right. So and another thing is actually the mentorship. Yeah. Okay. So this is a three month program and then we have a nine month mentorship. You don't really just know everything in, in three, three months. months. So, so you really need yeah. to be part of the system, learn how to fail, how to succeed and the likes of it. So okay. basically so by the period of that nine months will have landed all yes. Uh -huh. So before so, you go out uh -huh. you probably have landed with the yes. marketing everything. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, no. beautiful. Thank you. So right now you produce and then you still sell back to so, yeah, soilless. Yeah. Okay. But over time when you start up your own, you can be on your own. Beautiful. Yeah, What's your name again, sir? My name is Audi Sunday. What's your name again, sir? My name is Ibu Kunlawa. So you definitely we encourage young people to take advantage of this program. 100 yes, percent Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. It was nice meeting you, sir. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right. So you heard it from us young farmers here who are actually farming their own produce here. Yeah. So like I explained, uh, which area? Area. Uh, yeah. So April batch. So they did April, May, June. So they both graduated in June. This is harvest from their farm. So what they are doing right now is sorting based on size and what? Size and firmness. So that's what they are doing right now. So when they are done, if it is something that is going to somebody that has a cold room, it will go there. Does not have a cold room, it will go that way. So as they bring it, she is here taking record of what did you bring from the farm so that your payment can be made based on what you have vested. So once they are done, all their input that they need is given to them. So they are not buying any input. So the funds they get is for their internal salary or expansion based on what they agree as a company. The inputs actually they are giving, they are providing that. Yes. Even when they graduate, you still provide that. Yes, because they are still operating from here. Okay. Take for instance, the generator is on now. The generator we get to their hostel. The generator we pump their water. Remember that when we sell this produce, this produce are sold in our name. The only way we can assure the quality is we know the input. And the only way we would know that is we are the one providing it. It's not go and buy what you want. No, because you may be forced to want to manage. But when those you are selling to are the one giving you everything that you need, the quality is the same. Yes, why I'm asking that question is I was yes. thinking Forgive me again. No, I please, feel free. I was thinking that by the time they are graduated, they are harvest. By the time they are buying from them, unless you want to pay them, they are removing part of the money for giving them the savings. No, everything has been calculated okay. to say, okay, well, this is how much are they buying your tomatoes? Five hundred of the crate. Five hundred naira per kilo per kg. Did you get that? So if the tomatoes comes bad, depending on how bad it is, that's what determines how much is paid for it. So they are always part of the negotiation. So good, big is 500 per kilo. Per kilo. So that's why 
you can come close. That's why she is here. Let's see your record of the ones you've measured so far. So what she's essentially doing is, today is 29, Abby. Today is 29th. You can come closer, you see the record. So a particular group, a company, the tomatoes they brought that were small, this is 30. Medium is this, they are big is this. Another company. So as they bring him, if they bring multiple times today, they keep adding. So she takes the record and when they are taking the record, they are here. So it's not like, oh, we don't know what was weighed. They are there, they sort, they weigh once they are done. These crates are the yellow crates are the crates for the farm. That's why you see a lot of yellow. You can see some people are still here. Some people are still on the farm. Then this is the ones for delivery to customers. So these ones here are going out today. Okay, we are walking towards the market. You know, this is just like a community. Aside the farming, farming, we also have um, the marketplace that enables us to get the produce or product that we need to survive on a daily. So this is the marketplace. Here you obtain, we have the bakery, we have the eatery, a place where you can even get fast noodles and all of that. We also have the fashion designers here as well. Then the market women that sells um, food, uh, food materials that you can use to make your personal meal for yourself. Currently, as of last week Friday, we rounded up with the third cohort. So we have done first, second cohort. What happens after the training, some of the students that decide to stay back to continue with their companies, they stay back and then aside the planting aspects, they also find one or two things they can do to earn more money. Like you can see, she's a hairstylist and she's doing that to also get more money for herself. So some of the partners stay back after the training. They work for their companies and they as well engage one or two other uh, handworks or business that give them more incomes. Yeah. Popularly known as Bubulu. I'm among the first crowd of AIA and program. We finished around ending of March, yes. And staying here has been just so wonderful to me because the program was really, really impactful and I learned a lot. Even me knowing and joining them in soilless farming because that soilless farming, when I saw the link, I was thinking, ah, soilless farming, how is it possible for me to plant without the use of soil? Because I read agriculture in school. So I was just amazed when they say I can actually plant without the use of soil. So the experience here was so wonderful to the extent that I learned a lot. The use of cocoa peat, in, in fact, then the people I met here, they are just wonderful people. I met new people, new friends, and they are just really impactful. And so our mentor, kudos to him, is just a father, a mentor, and a teacher to us. We learned a lot from him. My name is Joy Opuro and I'm at AIR Project. I've been here for quite some time now and I'm learning hydroponics. The experience so far has been so wonderful. I've learned so much about agriculture, how to plant without soy. There are things you use like substrate, um, nutrients and all these things are over. You don't have to stress yourself, you're not under the sun. You're using greenhouses, controlled environment where the crops are being taken care of and they are premium quality healthy crops that you supply to premium places like ShopRite and it's been wonderful me having buyers back to back and the experience has been so wonderful. Considering me especially that I didn't learn agri, I've learned so much since I came for this AR program and I really encourage anyone outside there to come here and see what we are doing here. It's amazing. In my company we are 50 total and we accept, they set up our greenhouses for us. We have four greenhouses and we are growing um, tomatoes and bell pepper. Okay. So you have a company like green Yes, pepper. set up. Okay, so in an average, how much do you think your company is making in a month? At least mm. for a start, start, since you just started. For a start, mm, we've, I think we made over 100,000. Yes, we made over 100,000. And all of you are all living here? Yes, so they gave us our living here, how comfortable are you? Hmm, living on the farm, well, for me, it's comfortable because you have bed, you have water, you have light, steady. 
that you are so, seeing? Yes, we are very safe. We are military personnel here. Okay, fine. So yes. other young girls can come and come? Yes, and different tribes, different culture, different religion. We are all here. Where are you from, basically, last question? Okay, I'm from Delta State, Worry Precisely. Yes. But yeah, currently we are, we are I'm currently in this farm. I'm living on the farm. And the farm is located there? The, the farm is located at Awowo. In Ogu State. Abi, in Ogu State, Abi Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, the first time I came, you know, leaving the comfort of home and all of that, it wasn't easy. Like looking at the environment, here it's getting much better because all this you can see was just this year that it was put in place. So the first experience was like, ah, bush, this, that. So the comfort wasn't really there, but determination and knowing what I actually wanted. So my encouragement to others is the way of success doesn't always really seem to be rosy and enjoyment, but having in mind what you actually want to achieve will make you to persist. So, so far to this point, I can say it's better than when I first came. I've learned a lot. I've met new people. I have new initiative on how to make things better for myself. So I want to encourage every out there looking for one or two things to engage in. You can come over here. You'll be too told your mindset will be changed and you have a better mindset and then trained on how to make yourself better in make, making more incomes because there's money in agriculture. So my encouragement to them is come, the program is free, free to, uh, tuition and as well, the pay stipend. So I think, I don't think I've, I've seen such a program before in Nigeria. So it is an avenue for every youth to equip him or herself better. I'm from many states. Okay, I'm from Suka local government in Enugu State. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so you're from Enugu State, but you're in this program in Enugu Yes, I'm in Enugu State. Yeah, I have to ask that because some people know that it's, it's not a biased program. It's, no. open it's open to everybody. Even the Northerners are here. So different states are here too. I mean, everybody has to eat. Food is important and it is really nice to grow your own food and apply new technologies to help this thing easier. Not everybody has to be a doctor, not everybody has to be an engineer. There are fields ready to be tapped so you can do this.